Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I thought I would switch it up a little, and I'll tell you why. Okay, I got out, out, and I went to McDonald's, and I was going to get a Coke, which I did, and I thought, wow, I have this feeling of alert. So this video is prepared and alert. So I mentioned to you guys that I studied nursing for a long time. I studied, uh, I was an EMT, I was a phlebotomist, I went to college and um, I worked in salons which were dangerous for no money. So today I had this feeling of alert, like danger. So I have promised my son that if anything happens, don't come looking for me. Don't drive over here wildly. I will be in the house. So what I plan to do is pretty much shelter in place until the end of the month, until this feeling passes. Okay, what do I have here? Okay, this is awesome. Yesterday I was at my son's and my daughter-in-law gave me um, some spearmint mint from her garden and I learned how to um I learned how to uh make it so much better I put all the mint leaves in a pan and I boiled them until it was pretty much done and then I took it off the heat and let it seep and the, the tea is so good and you guys may see my home decor on a budget I am continuing the home decor on a budget thing so while I'm out here, I might as well have a tasty little snack. Okay, so what do we have? Dollar Tree. How about this? That's cute. I never get buyer's remorse. I have a blueberry pie that I prepared and bought not for this, but, you know, I just happened to buy one, so that's awesome. Then I bought ice cream sandwiches at Dollar Tree, two, I mean, three for a dollar, and they're pretty good, too. Are they as good as the eight fifty yogurt? No, but it's 33 cents. It's cheap. So, okay, so instead of the car, we're out in the, the garden. I found this lovely chair by the dumpster, so I secured it. I found this lovely uh, palm tree. Thank God I, I didn't um, plant it because they get bigger than this entire yard. So I will keep it and, you know, when it starts going out of control, I will purge it. So. You guys, this is rather pleasant. This is better than the car, but I can't go too long because my son car, my phone is in the car. So prepared and alert. Okay, when I get the alert feeling, that means danger. So I decided the prudent thing to do is shelter in place pretty much until the end of the month. Or, you know, until I feel the coast is clear. Um. I pretty much had to live this way. Uh, I get the feeling like go with the gut is, uh-oh, these people are looking to give my job to their best friend. Uh-oh, these people are getting ready to 30-day me in my apartment so they can give it to their relatives. Uh-oh, it's going to be slow. That's going with the gut. Also, there's the hair off the back of your neck type thing. This isn't that. This is more like alert, alert, danger. Okay, so the variant is going on, but now they're saying we also have a, a deadly flu that's starting to spread around. Now, the problem is the stuff spreads around the world, and then somehow it makes its way over here and causes all kinds of mischief. Okay, now where's my fork? So my pie was 30, my pie was, my pie is frozen, but I, I like to eat them frozen. They taste very yummy frozen. The first bite is a, a problem. So, okay, okay, so we have the flu and the variant, but we've all, we already know the learning curve on this. Two masks, socially distanced, and no crowds.
one of the problems I see is a lot of these disasters, especially water disasters, especially like the collapse of the building uh, happen at night when people are sleeping. I like to eat the, I like to eat the chocolate part off and then, you know, enjoy my ice cream. Sorry, but you know. That's how I get the most enjoyment. So all week I was preparing, I bought gas, I bought food, I stocked up on water, I'm cleaning all my trash cans and tub out in case I need water, food, water, I, gas, cash, and a tool if you can. Even a big rock is better than nothing, you guys. But if you if you want to hit someone in the head with a, a tool, make sure that you make it count because it will go very badly for you if they're not hurt very bad. One of my friends, um, her son got got um, a job with the border patrol, and like the first week, somebody hit him in the head with a big rock right in the temple. And it was very, it was very amazing that he wasn't murdered. Okay, so we're preparing for empty shelves on the grocery store. Could that happen? I hope not. So, caution is the watchword right now. So, you know, be thinking of everything. Is my house secure? Is my, um car ready to go at all times uh is it likely that this flood is going to destroy my vehicle uh you know that kind of stuff okay so i mentioned to you guys after a year of preparing now i will be um saving money because i don't think this is the end of the recession not even this is only the beginning so I'm saving my money and I'm eating my stockpile. That doesn't look very nice. Okay, so what I stockpile is a lot of this stuff. I didn't cook last night because I had um, hamburgers and bacon. Yes, like the freaky eaters. So I have a bunch of these. So I will be eating these one or two times a week. And then I really love this. Let me show this to you hamburgers and oven fries uh this is super easy just roast everything at the same time chicken broccoli and potatoes that's easy so mainly in my freezer i have uh, meat and potatoes so what i'm doing pretty much is i'm suspending all uh shop shopping in the thrift store because i don't want to catch this flu that is going around or anything else that's going around okay so all these people from Afghanistan are flying over to America, and most of them, a whole lot of them live in San Diego County, bringing God knows what with them. Uh, there was some criticism because we loaded our dogs up and brought them home. So what were these dogs doing over there? Well, these dogs are the bomb-sniffing dogs, so it seems as if maybe our dogs are going back to Stanford. So, um, I have this feeling, watch out for disease. Some of this disease could be bioterrorism, I hate to say it. But we have to be alert for anything. So the best thing we can do is stay close to our dwellings. And now I'm going to give you a little shot of my garden. It's looking scrappy, but I'm going to give you a little shot. It's winding down. You guys, I can't find plants. 